Okay, welcome everyone to a new segment of Pewter Pints. Uh, we're going to call this one Pewter Half Pints because... We only have half a beer. We only have half a beer. <laughs> we're going to split the last beer we had left from last week, um, which is again, Matt Tom. So uh, my name is Jason and this is my older brother, Dave. We Howdy. are your hosts. Um, we are both also vice presidents at Pewter. Pewter Build, our design build firm. On uh, this podcast, we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit short, sweet, more to the point. And we are here to give you, the listeners at home, uh, a little bit of information on something a little bit more specific, something that I guess you guys can actually take home and use to your benefit while you're doing your at home DIY projects. So I think today we should talk about paint. Dave made a good point that a lot of people are going to be painting over these next few weeks, maybe even two months, who knows? Paint and stores are open. Paint stores you are just, open. You call in, they'll they'll create whatever you want and you pick it up curbside pretty much. So Yeah. So you can repaint your home if you wish. And I think it's a good idea. You know, anyone can really paint. There are good painters and bad painters out there. But if you do it yourself, you have no one to blame but yourself. <laughs> so uh, go for it. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to make it specifically about Benjamin Moore. That's all we use, but we have fantastic results with Benjamin Moore. But yeah, I think it's just beneficial if we yeah. share our experience. So let's, I guess, start off with one of the lower grades, I guess, we would use. And that one would be called Ben, right? Correct. This is a residential application, entry-level paint. As far as rolling goes, it rolls out very well. It doesn't level out as much as uh, some of the higher grade paints that they that they have. Um, but for the most part, as long as you can roll it smooth, it's going to stay smooth. I would say the one downfall it just doesn't cut very well. Uh, it's it's harder to get a good long pull if you're painting stuff like trim. Uh, it's not a very good paint for that. It doesn't level out the same way that some of the better paints that they have will. Um, so I would stay away from that if you're planning on refreshing doors, trim, stuff like that. Okay, so why would you use Ben then? Uh, cost, so obviously it's entry level, so it's cheaper. If you just wanted to quickly repaint a room in your house, uh, maybe your main hallway, right? Where you want to do a larger area, and don't necessarily want to spend seventy, eighty dollars a gallon. Um, you know, mm -hmm. that paint will easily do the heavy lifting for you. Okay. So I would say for the homeowner, the the typical homeowner, I would probably stay away from it unless you wanted to save a couple bucks uh trying to paint a larger area. Okay, fair enough. All right. All right, I guess next one that we use quite frequently actually is uh the Regal can. The Regal can Regal's a good paint. So one level up from Ben, yep. one level down from Aura. Um, it levels better. It pulls better with your cut lines. I would say rolling characteristics are pretty smooth, pretty even. It levels fairly well. Um, it's, I would say it's probably equal to working with uh, Aura in a lot of ways. Interesting. It's a pretty solid paint. And that, um, oh, I should also specify Ben and uh, Regal, they don't have washable flats. Flat okay, paint. so for people at home who don't really know what you're talking about, just going to assume what you're talking about, what is a washable flat? Thank you. Uh, a washable flat paint is um, uh, a matte paint. You would touch it and it, you would leave your handprint on it, right? If you were to touch a ceiling, you would leave your, the oils from your hand would stay on the ceiling right and you're you see it and that's true even with today's paints uh but the same was true with older generation paints and um the regal and the ben they don't have the same washable characteristics in their matte finishes as an aura so the ideal for a paint is that it is as matte as possible so that it reflects the least amount of light so that it looks the best Right. So the more matte, the, the better the look because it shows less imperfection. But the more matte it is, generally, the less washable it is. And that all changes when we go up to Aura and talk about Aura. Okay, so yeah, you've referenced Aura twice now, three That's times maybe. probably my favorite paint. 
Definitely. This is the paint that we basically make standard on our projects and yeah so it looks great but dave why why is aura our paint of choice okay it uses a completely different pigmentation process um it holds a ridiculous amount of pigment more pigment means that there's more color in the brush or in the roller as you're applying so you're applying a a, a more opaque coat of paint Meaning, you paint over it, there's so much pigment in there that the old color really doesn't blend through, doesn't bleed through. So when you look closely at the wall after you've rolled aura on it, you'll notice like little flecks. And there's either enough paint there to completely block out whatever was there, or literally you, you're seeing where the, where the roller pulled off the wall a little bit. If the paint is covering, the paint is, has covered. There's no bleeding through. So that's why Aura is so good. It, it levels really well. And on top of that, because there's so much pigment in it, its colors are almost prismatic. It looks beautiful. Like it, yeah. it has this different quality to it that other paints don't have. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to say pastel, but like, you know what I mean? Like it's like, it's more, you can just tell it's thicker, it's richer. It's, yeah. you know. Yeah, and it's a little thicker to work with. Initially, it's kind of hard to work with, but you just trust it. Just make sure that you get it as flat as you can. Yeah. And it levels beautifully. It's honestly the best paint that I've used on the market, hands down. Like, yeah. you can get a ferro and ball uh, can for, like, what, $95 a can or something, and the aura just kicks the shit out of it every time. It's, well, it's like That's like chalky paint. Yeah. I do not enjoy working with yeah. that. The aura is just by far the best for painting walls okay well there's one more paint i want to add um we i didn't write down the list but um i feel like you know you definitely should be using this paint being that you're a father of three children <laughs> under six years old benjamin moore just came up with a line called scuff x oh don't we know about it we we definitely use scuff x for people with young children and it's kind of self-explanatory in the name. And we actually started using it for all the Property Brothers yeah. episodes. This, Which is know. great because guys come through with their cameras and their lights and their this and their that it and bumping us. stuff. <laughs> and, oh, man. It saved us from doing so many touch-ups. Uh, yeah, Scuff X is a great paint. It's um, a little more fluid, a little more liquid uh, in its initial state. I would say it's a cheap can i think the value i wouldn't say cheap i would use the term inexpensive inexpensive yes not not a cheap paint you'll probably have to do one more coat if you're doing a light color paint uh plain on three coats yeah over, um, so, over a dark yeah for so sure. if you're going to calculate take the square footage of your room like the the wall space square footage and uh divide it by 350 square feet per can yep and then multiply that by how many coats of paint you're planning on doing and that's how many cans of paint you you will need um so scuff x plan on another coat uh it's worth going that extra step and taking that one additional coat um to get the durability that that it provides it's it's really a solid paint i, I really enjoy working with it yeah it's, it was it was definitely good and the best part about i think all these benjamin moore products most of them anyways um you know aura scuff x regal if and this is you know something i know it's in the commercials too but if you need to fix a scuff someone you know dirties up your wall you know mr clean magic eraser just give it a quick one yeah more more the and, aura and the scuff x yeah those two are really yeah. solid paints and um but yeah the, people always ask us how we how we get marks off the walls and it's just the mr clean magic eraser we're not plugging it. It's just good. Yeah. You know? If if you have a washable paint. Yeah. So if you're a Ben or a Regal and you're a matte, I would just repaint the damn wall. If you're a matte aura or a scuff X, you can use the magic eraser wherever you want. That said, if you're a um, eggshell or higher sheen ben or regal you can also wash those those would be fine yeah okay there's also one more paint that we should talk about and that is if you plan on painting your trim yeah and doors yeah 
Use Advance. Uh, the, okay, yeah. It's an Al alkaline enamel paint. It is their replacement to an oil paint. So an oil yeah. paint, you could get super smooth. You could sand in between coats and get your oil paint just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it's a latex paint that, yeah, just it. It's an alkaline enamel. So yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It, so the, the way, way they explain it to you is it's a mix between a, a water-based paint and an oil base. But it's alkaline enamel, and it has the a lot of the characteristics of an oil-based paint. Um, it it gets very hard. You want to follow the instructions and make making sure that you're following the cure times on these things. Mm -hmm. um, but you can really do a good job getting a solid coat of paint on on trim and doors and stuff like that. Absolutely. You can even use it on furniture if you want it. So, I know we want to keep this short and sweet. Yeah. So I guess we'll just keep it at that because my beer is empty anyway. So. Yeah. Recommendations. If you're planning on repainting, advance for your trimming, trimming doors. Door. I would highly recommend Aura for your walls because Aura covers like you wouldn't believe. Um, a lot of times if you're doing light color to light color, you'll probably get away with one coat and you'd be more than happy with the results as long as you have a nice even coverage. But two coats, you're done for sure. Um, and if you if you want to save some money, I would probably recommend. Uh, it, I don't know if you're doing the big hallway, you could you could, I would probably recommend Scuff X yeah. rather than the Ben or the Regal. Scuff X is also good for like party rooms, rec rooms, your basement. You know what I mean? Yeah, any any place that's high traffic, yeah. mud room. Yeah, great place to use Scuff X. Definitely. Um, but yeah, if you have little kids, just put that everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. You got to stay busy somehow, some way. So hopefully this helps guide you guys when you're phoning in your orders to, you know, get some sort of paint lined up for from Benjamin Moore. Yeah. So just so everyone knows, we're going to do this one, I think, every Tuesday or something like that. Tuesday, um, Wednesday, we'll drop these. Yeah, Tuesday, there. Wednesday, something like that. You know, we'll just give you a little bit of content, quick 10 minutes about you know something that can help you out at your home um picking or, materials or, for your renovation it's gonna be very specific and uh you know we'll try to make it as informative as possible as always yeah okay all right all cheers right. well cheers yeah um, oh yeah. you're done already yeah well you gave me like a quarter of what you gave yourself no i put them side by side no they you work. didn't that was a lie that's bullshit. he's a liar yeah. just so you know okay well cheers horrible brother cheers